Hey everyone, I'm Colleen Ballinger and I'm a vocal coach, question mark. I did a video like this once before where I reacted to TikTokers singing and you guys really liked it, so I'm gonna do it again. I want to address the hat in the room. I know it's a ridiculous hat, um, but the hat is better than my hair right now, so we're gonna live with the hat today. Also, the hat kind of makes me feel like I'm living out my Lizzie McGuire, Mary Kay and Ashley dreams, so like, I'm kind of into it. Do we like it? Do we hate it? Don't tell me, I'm too fragile. But I am gonna be eating some puppy chow while I watch these videos of TikTokers sing. It's a good day for me. Do you guys like puppy chow? Tell me in the comments below. Do you call it puppy chow? It's not puppy food, in case you're wondering, and you live in another country or something, like puppy chow is, <gasps> it smells so good. I'm gonna like gag, because it just smells so delicious. Puppy chow is like a Chex Mix cereal with like peanut butter and chocolate and powdered sugar. I don't know what else is in it, but it's really amazing, and I'm gonna eat it. Did anybody else eat this growing up? Oh, it's so no. Before we jump into this, I wanna let you guys know, I do not consider myself a professional singer. I do not consider myself a vocal coach. Even though I have coached people vocally, I have given voice lessons, I have been on Broadway, <laughs> but I still do not consider myself a vocal coach or a professional singer. So I have no business doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking on puppy chow. <clears throat> I used to work at musical theater camps and I would be the vocal coach at those camps and teach kids how to sing. I used to give voice lessons a lot. I majored in vocal performance and in opera and I've done musical theater basically my entire life. So I have experience with singing. Again, I'm not this person sitting here trying to pretend like I am an incredible vocal coach, voice teacher, singer, like I am not, I'm a hot mess. Again, just reiterating, I have no business doing this today, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I also am a firm believer that anyone can sing if they want to. I'm um, obviously, I. I am Miranda Sings for a living, so like I'm a strong supporter of people singing who cannot sing. I will not be saying anything mean or negative today. So if you came here hoping I would drag and make fun of people, I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I think singing is a wonderful, amazing form of expression. It helps people feel happy, loved, emotional, passionate. It makes people feel amazing things, so I don't think anyone should be told they can't do something that makes them happy. Um, as long as they're not hurting anyone, what's the problem? So I am going to critique vocal technique, but I am going to try to do it in a loving and positive way. So if that is not interesting to you, goodbye. I'll see you next time. This stuff is so addicting, oh my God. Mm. Crunch. Okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with Addison Ray today. The last time I did this, I did Dixie D'Amelio, that girl Nessa, and Bella Porch. So you might not believe me, but I actually have not seen this Addison Ray music video. I know that she came out with a song, and I've heard the song like on TikTok and stuff, but I haven't heard the full song and I haven't seen the full video. So I'm gonna watch this music video and tell you what I think. It's hard to tell with music these days if people can actually sing because a lot of people use auto tune. No offense, to auto I, I, I love auto. Tune. I've used autotune. So this is no offense to autotune and people who use it, like who cares? But I want to try to find video of her singing a cappella as well so I can actually hear what her voice sounds like, but let's watch the video. Okay, booty. Obsessed. Okay, with the strobe light, we didn't get a warning about the strobe. She looks gorgeous. Oh my God, pink hair. Catwoman is shaking. I like the colored hair. I could never, I'm not brave enough. Okay, so far, um, she looks amazing. But also, she's like singing, but it's like whisper singing. So it'd be hard to tell if she's like got any kind of powerhouse type of voice from this anyway. Um, but she has a pretty like sultry voice. It's like da 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 da. It's like very whispery, very breathy, which is kind of fun. It's like, um, it's not really singing yet. It's just kind of like whisper talk singing, which is sexy and something I can't pull off. So power to you, Addison Ray. Sounds beautiful. You look amazing. You look like a million bucks. You look like a superstar. Let's keep watching. You say you're obsessed with me. So I took a second and I said me too. You died for me, I died for me, too. Oh, booty. I feel like that's the only part of the song where she like sings. <laughs> So I'm trying to listen to this with like a, a vocal coach like perspective or ear, but um, so far it's very talk singy and she sounds awesome. It's like, you know, the very beginning was like, this part is very talk singy too. You're obsessed with me and my de do. Like it's very like, I'm just talking in this area of my voice kind of thing. Um, but then whatever she just sang. I can lose. I can lose. 
loose. That whole like loose. It's like the only part I've heard her sing. Um, and it sounded good. Loose. I mean, that's it. That's all I've heard her sing so far. But still, I really am into it. I think the song's fun. They're singing. Please. Those are kind of, those are getting higher. Cause the majority of the songs just like kind of in this voice, da, 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 da. like those two notes. But then she kind of went up a little bit there. Bleed. Is that what she's saying? Those are a few notes higher. I think she sounds really great. It's like a sexy, sultry sound I could never pull off. I'm always jealous of girls who can pull off that poppy, breathy, sexy sound. Cause it is very much not something I'm capable of doing. And she pulls it off really, really well. And she looks incredible. She looks so pretty. That's kind of high. We were driving down sunset. That's higher. She's hitting it. It's just very breathy, like, we were driving down sunset. She's just really like making sure she uses that breath, honey. She's not afraid to let the breath out. She doesn't care if she wastes all the breath on four words. Get it out of me. I don't want that breath. Another thing that I'm not good at because I was taught to like not make the sound breathy. I was taught to like use the power of the voice and not have the breath come out with it. But she's like, smell my lunch. We were driving down sunset. I wonder if that's her, the background vocal there. Uh -huh. me, e too. And if I that's pretty! Is that her? Because if that's her, that's really pretty. Uh -huh. When you say that you're obsessed with me, me too. Fun! Cute and fun. I can't do that. You sound beautiful, Addison Ray, but I do want to hear what your voice sounds like. Not super produced. That's the point of this video. I think Addison is adorable, good dancer. And singing makes her happy. Live your best life and sing, girl. You are adorable. Let's listen to her sing live. The only thing I can find of her singing live is like an Instagram live. And I don't like judging people on these things because you, if you're not like full out performing and you're just kind of like singing as you're like hanging out in your house or in your bed, like I don't think it's fair to like judge someone off of that. Like Lord knows I'm always singing as I'm walking around my house. And if someone were to record me or if I were doing an Instagram live and someone recorded that and then post it all over the internet, I'd probably be really embarrassed because I'm not like trying to like be seen by millions of people. I, I don't know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's not fair to judge someone singing off of like an Instagram live, but I'm about to do that and see if I can hear her real voice. But whatever I heard in the track, I thought was pretty, especially that end like, <laughs> get it. I love those high notes. Just from that, you can tell she sounds just like she does on the track. So maybe there's not that much vocal work done on the track because it sounds like here she's singing that breathy, like sexy, sultry, like easy sound. Doesn't sound like she's working hard for it. Okay, she had a key change there, which is fine. It's her song. She can change the key if she wants. You say you're obsessed with so she had multiple key changes here. But again, who cares? It's her song. If she wants to change the key, she can. Yeah, it sounds like, you know, for some people, it's hard to find the note and the pitch when they don't have the track with them. And that's totally fine. I get that sometimes too. Like sometimes it's hard to figure out what notes you're supposed to be singing when you don't have the music with you. And since she doesn't have the music, that's probably why that's happening. But it's also her song. So she can sing it however she wants to. If she were going to continue in the same key she started in, it would be like this. You say you're obsessed with me so i took a second and i said me too that's the key she started in so let's see where she actually sings i'll try to sing with her let's see if i can do it say you're obsessed with me and so i took a second and i said me too as you hear she's singing something different but i appreciate that she took it up because the key she started in was too low so she knew that that the key she started in was too low and she tried to move it higher which is cool i'm obsessed with me as much as you i can't lose I can't lose. Pretty. That was pretty. She started to belt. She's like, get rid of this whisper voice. I'm gonna belt it. And she did. She sounds great. She's got a pretty voice in there. Come on, she's so cute. What should I sing? Sing for us, Allison. You turn off so now, baby, what for? Babe. You had the candles on the dashboard. Pretty. And roses growing out of the door. Okay. 
already scooping into the no. I'm about it. That was pretty. What? Come on, scoop into it. Love, that's good enough for me. She has talent, she can sing. She has a very pretty voice, but that's all I can find of her really singing live. So that's kind of what we have to work with. But there's more. I've heard this guy Lil Huddy, which I don't know much about, has a song. And the only reason I know that is because people were like covering it on TikTok a while ago. And they were all saying like 21st or 20th century tampon. Something about a tampon. I don't know if this kid wrote a song about a tampon, but I think he wrote a song about a tampon. So we're gonna watch a song about a tampon. On YouTube, it says 21st century vampire. I thought it was tampon. <laughs> I couldn't tell at first if it was a joke, like if people were making fun of it or not, but like it does sound like he's saying tampon, but I guess he's not saying tampon. I guess he's saying vampire. So let's watch. Okay. He looks very young. That's my first impression, is he just looks very young, which is fine. Okay, we love a high falsetto. That was good. Ooh, pretty. This is not my type of music. This is not a type of singing or type of song that I should ever be coaching someone on because like I said, I was trained in like classical music and musical theater. And this is very like punky type of music. That is not the type of music I ever listened to or know much about, but I know he sounds like that genre. He sounds very like, I do, but I'm so upset. <laughs> oh, do you hear <laughs> what was? That. What did I just do? What did I think I accomplished by making those sounds out of my body? Should I skip this? I feel like I should not even be allowed to watch this video after whatever I just did. But you know what I'm talking about? That like, okay. Don't even try it going. But that just like kind of like whiny, singy, I'm so emo, but in a really cool way type of singing. Like that was not the thing that I was ever into. My emo versions of songs were like Sondheim songs, like Being Alive from Company. So this was not the type of music I listened to when I was sad when I was in high school. So it's hard for me to relate to this, but he did just pop up into his falsetto and it's pretty. I Okay, it really does sound like he's saying tampon. I'm gonna rewind. Don't watch his mouth say vampire. Just listen to it and imagine a tampon. Sounds like tampon. I will say it's hard for me to critique this one because he's not really singing. It's very affected. It's very like, um, you can hear all the like, the production that went on top of his voice. Like it sounds very computerized, which is the sound of the song. So it sounds really cool, but it's hard to judge his voice on this because I'm not really hearing his voice. I'm hearing a lot of computer sounds. But that's pretty, those falsettos are great. Oh, does he play guitar? We love talent. Okay, guitar solo. Century tampon. Okay, he likes to be eat people's blood and things, and that's fun. Is that what the Gen Zs are into these days? Okay, he has one that came out very recently called America's Sweetheart, and Charlie D'Amelio's in this one, so maybe this one's a better one to watch. He doesn't look like a vampire in this one. I feel so alone. Okay, this is singing. Now it sounds like he's singing. And that was pretty. I feel so alone in a crowded place. I feel like I even heard a little bit of vibrato in there, just the smallest tinge. I feel so alone in a crowded place. And crowded. That's where I heard it. Everything it says always seems to break. He has a very forward sound. Like he very much sings through his nasal cavity, which is good. You want a very forward sound when you're singing. At least that's what I've always been taught. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it sounds very forward. It's not like stuck in the back of his throat or like it's very much in his mask, which is good. You have a very forward sound. It, it makes it bright. America, sweetheart. He sounds so sad. No America, sweetheart. Which is good because he's, he's very good at expressing emotion through his vocal which is a talent, like that's hard to do. Most vocalists are more concerned about how they sound as a singer and not thinking about expressing emotion through it. And he, you can hear that he like sounds sad. I feel like he's good. I, I couldn't find any videos of him singing acapella, so I won't be able to hear his voice without computers. But this one, you can hear his voice a little bit more. And I think he's got a nice voice. It seems to be something he really likes. He's 
a lot of music videos. Good on him. I don't know anything about him. I don't follow him. I know nothing about him. I just know he's really famous on TikTok or maybe he was or is, I don't really know. So I know Addison's one of the most famous people on TikTok and I know Lil Huddy's one of the most famous people on TikTok and also Trisha Paytas is one of the most famous people on TikTok. And that's who we're going to next. We are going to Trisha Paytas. Now I'm a little bit biased because I know Trisha and I love Trisha. Say what you want about Trisha Paytas. They have always been a very good friend to me. So I love Trish. Obviously Trish started on YouTube, but now Trish does a lot of TikTok. Still does YouTube, but obviously does a lot of TikTok and is very popular on TikTok and has won the hearts of many over there. So I'm very excited to react to some of Trisha's music. It's hard because they have so much music out. Like Trisha has been putting out music for so long. So if I were to ever do uh, reacting to YouTubers doing music, I would have a lot to go off of with Trish because literally like I don't know that there would be time to react to all the music that Trish has put out over the years. I'm gonna go and watch Suddenly Seymour because Trish has done a lot of different songs, but they put out this song last year and I was very excited because I love musical theater and this is a very hard song to sing. Suddenly Seymour is very high. You have to belt super high, like it's hard. I wanna hear Trish do it. Let's go. I love this song so much. Oh my God, both roles, okay. Oh my God, wait, why is the editing is so good. Like, how did they do this? As someone who constantly does split screens with my own character, how did, the, whoever edited this is incredible. They did a moving shot. What? How did they do that? How? What? Lift up your head. That's low. Wash off your mascara. Here, take my Kleenex. Wipe that lipstick away. Trish, is that you singing? That's so low. Da 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 da. Like, wipe that lipstick away. That's low. Trish, is that you singing? That's so low. I'm really impressed if that's you. Vibrato. Okay, vibrato. Did the editor do this? I'm like extremely impressed with the editing. Like they just crossed paths. I need this editor in my life to edit Miranda slash me videos. Cause this is blowing my mind. Anyway, now is the Audrey part. And the Audrey part belts and is very high and is very hard. So let's hear. That is very high. Don't kinda sad. Like to belt that. Da, 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 da. That is so high to belt. Like that's impressive. Um, all right, let's keep going. So high. Don't know how much was auto-tuned or whatever, but still very impressive and beautiful. And I love, uh, I was like holding my breath. I, I can't help but sing along. Sorry, I sang over Trish a little bit, but like, I just can't help it. Now let's listen to some Trish singing live. This is pretty popular. It's Trish singing Shallow. I've seen this as like a meme all over the internet, but I haven't watched the actual video of it in a very long time. So this is Trish singing no auto-tune live. <laughs> Good to me. Okay, Britney Spears is shaking. <laughs> okay, we love the breath, these sexy vibes. Addison Ray vibes. I didn't know impressions were a part of the live show that Trish does. 
I'm so angry at myself I never got to see them live. A little bit pitchy, but I don't mind because there's so much passion. It's I'm off the deep end. And Trish went, I'm off the deep end. I think was the notes that were hit there. It's a little lower, but then got back up there. Leave the ground. I think was eventually hit. Got up there. Here's the deal with Trish. I think Trish just loves to sing and do music videos and all that. And so that's what Trish does. And I love it. I find them all very entertaining and fun. And I love that singing makes them so happy. And I'm glad singing makes Addison so happy. And Lil Huddy seems to be really enjoying it. Bella Porch, I'm so excited to hear that new song. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't think singing should be something that like you're only allowed to do if you're perfect at it because no one is perfect at singing. Everyone has different levels of being able to sing in a good way according to society's standards. And I think if music makes you happy and singing makes you happy, you should do it. I'm always singing and I guarantee you that 80% of the time it sounds absolutely terrible and I don't care because it makes me happy. Yeah, keep making music. Anyone out there who likes to sing or do music, keep doing it. Cause if it makes you happy and it's fun, who cares what other people think? If you love it, just do it. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below who you want me to do next. If I ever do a video like this again, um, maybe I should do YouTubers next time or more TikTokers. I don't you tell me. Or should I never do this again? You tell me. I don't know. I'm gonna eat more puppy chow and I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.